Well, since I started uh, this show over seven years ago, I've learnt uh, many new and rare conditions which affect people's lives, and I would have thought nothing really could surprise me. However, when I read about our next guest condition, I was, as I'm sure you will be, absolutely fascinated. Imagine if every time you heard a sound or read a word, you began to taste what had been said or written. For James Wonerton, his sense of hearing is connected with his taste, so all sorts of words and sounds trigger different tastes and shapes sensations. James joins us now along with neurologist Dr. Dr. Jamie Ward to explain his condition, synesthesia. Did I pronounce that correctly? That's correct, synesthesia. Synesthesia, okay. So we've never heard of this. I mean, is this, a, is this something that's quite common? It does turn out to be quite common. I think that everybody probably knows somebody who has synesthesia, but you don't necessarily know who has it because people just live with them. They think it's normal because people are born with this. Mm. Uh, and to them, tasting words or experiencing vision when they listen to music is perfectly normal. Some people, when they count, they see the numbers out in front of them. Or when they listen to words, each word has a colour, each name has a taste, for example. But unless you go out and ask people, you would never know because they just blend in with everyone else. They don't go to their doctors because they've had it all their life and they can't believe other people don't have it. But to this degree, that's quite rare. It is. The other thing that's very unusual about James is that it doesn't normally affect taste. For a lot of people, they have colours with things, colours with days of the week or with names and mm -hmm. so on. But to taste things is very unusual. And James has very strong taste experiences which feel as if they're in his mouth, but they're not coming from his mouth, they're coming from his brain. As a child, James, how, how did you explain what was happening? Well, I mean, it's, it's so natural. It was. Uh, I mean, it's just part of childhood for me. I mean, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to stick out of school. Therefore, I never really mentioned it. I mean, I. I do remember. Um, we used to get handed out blue badges uh, while we were on our birthdays at school, and I do remember the, the taste of that blue badge. And I can remember. And what was the taste? Um, it was like. Um, it was like a melted uh, opal fruit, something like that. It was quite nice. Because I get taste and texture as well, you see. Yes. Um, but at, at the end of the day, you know, I, I may have mentioned it, but I didn't get any response, and I just carried on being a child. I mean, it's just very natural. It's just very, very natural. So when did you when did you finally put a get to put a name to it? Quite late on. Uh, again, I did mention it to people. I, I used to mention it to girlfriends and stuff. I mean, uh, maybe I was trying to impress them. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> they certainly used to look at me rather oddly yeah. after I mentioned it. So I never took it any further. I first discovered that there was a name for this when I just caught the end of a TV programme in America. Uh, it was on a, a public service broadcast and it was this story about a lady who used to sort of roller skate down some boulevard with this great big pair of headphones on and while she was listening to music she used to see dancing shapes in front of her face and I thought that sounds similar to mine. You've, you've had um, changed friendships because the sound of that person's name was unpleasant and, and, and therefore you've moved on and thought, you know, I know it sounds a bit shallow, but I'm going to have to move on here. Yeah, um, I, I never gave that as a reason, to be honest. You know, I, I don't think your name tastes very nice. But yes, I mean, it, it does affect relationships, relationships and it has done. It's a bit like, I mean, the, the analogy I like to draw is if you meet somebody, they might be, they might be nice, might nice personality, might look nice, but if they've got a funny smell about them, you'd... Puts you, you know, off. It, yeah, it would put you off, and well, it's, it's and similar to that. The, 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 some of our names, then, let's, let's, if, if, if that's all right, I mean, I don't mm. want to make this look like some sort of circus trick. I mean, I do appreciate that uh, I mean, it's just a sort of demonstration here. But if you say my name, Philip Schofield, what does that, what, what happens there? Well, the, the Philip uh, part of your name actually uh, gives me a taste. It's not dissimilar. Because bear in mind, these are textures and tastes I, I, I get automatically and involuntary. I, have to, I then have to articulate well, them into, into a food yes, stuff. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Your name tastes like, uh, it's a bit like the, the orange pith, you know, the, the white stuff you get in an orange. Mm. And the Schofield bit is quite nice as well because it's sort of, a, it's like a nice crunchy biscuit kind of oh, taste. Oh, that sounds lovely. Mm. Mine's not particularly nice though, is it? It's not as nice as, as <laughs> Philip's, I have to admit. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's sort of a vegetable, a vegetable kind of texture. It's a bit like a very, very thick leaf. That you oh. can you can bite. They're a bit like I was explaining to Jamie earlier. It was a bit like uh, a, a cactus leaf. You know those big thick leaves. Yeah, yeah. And you get a slightly bitter taste from it. That's what and I get. Chris from Evans, you say it's, it's spangles. Yeah, I saw him. I got a very strong taste of spangles. He was very very strong. And, yeah. and so this is you have to obviously you have to have eaten the thing at some stage in your life to associate that taste with the word. I would assume so. Yeah. I mean, there are tastes though that uh, I do have. I mean, I, I might see somebody and I'll get a taste, and that's the distracting part. I'll get this very strong taste, and I think, what is that? What is that? 
and uh, it must have been something I've, I've eaten before, but I can't put a name to it. So is it difficult sometimes when you're having conversations not to get distracted? Because it's not just names, it's every it's simple, word, yeah. it's everything. Yeah. So sometimes you must be going, oh, taste, 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 as opposed to listening what somebody's saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah the, I mean, the way it actually works with me is that um, I, I, as you were speaking there, I got lots of taste. There was a, there was a bread taste in there. There was also a nice sweet taste. I can't uh, quite recall what it was. Um, but I get these tastes one after another. Now, every now and again, I get a very strong one, and it's the strong ones that sort of stop me in my tracks. A bit like that, the taste I described before. I couldn't put my name to it. Right. So, yeah, I mean, the, the biggest problem for me would be distraction. It's quite distracting. What I tend to do is sort of split the conversation off. It's a bit like... The synesthetic bit is dealt with over there, and I'll try and listen to you with only half the brain. Does synesthesia have, have a taste? It does, actually, and it's not very nice. It's, uh, it's a bit like uh, mucus. Is it? Oh. There, is a, there is a treatment, which is a, a magnetic stimulation, that would rid you of this for about 20 minutes, but you say, actually, no, thank you, I don't want it. Yeah, I mean, I was offered, uh, or, or I have been offered, uh, at least a, a, a trial to see if it works. I, I'm not... I'm not happy with it because it's a bit like me saying to you, you know, uh, can I come and take your, your sight away for 20 minutes? We'll yes. bring it back in 20 minutes' time. You know, is that all right? And we'll, we'll experiment on you while, while you haven't got any. Oh. Uh, it is distracting. I do find it annoying sometimes, but at the end of the day, we want it taken away. So. Thank you both so much for coming. Thank you. Absolutely okay. fascinating. For more details, have a look at our website. See you after this. <laughs>